A bored ape once worth three hundred and fifty thousand dollars for a a JPEG of a ape, which sold for three hundred fifty k, now just sold for a paltry one hundred and fifteen dollars. And people naturally are suspecting uh, something's going on. So explain this. How does something like this happen? You bought this board ape for three hundred fifty grand, and now. Less than two years later, is worth one hundred and fifteen dollars. Is this a mistake? Is this no, a, it's are just, they missing a zero? It's the collective what belief. happened here? Collective belief, bro. People were buying and giving a price to these because they believe the community would bring to fruition something beautiful, like the platform that they just created, as an example. Mm -hmm. uh, the other side, uh, and you know, they built a community. A lot of celebrities got involved. That has a price tag. It's mm -hmm. like you know, so house a membership club, right? You have to pay, but then. Again, to what you mentioned a minute ago, the beauty of crypto is that there's no centralized, uh, you know, lobbyism or manipulation in the market. The guy that sold for $115 sold for that price to prove that it's still early. You can still get in the space. You can still control your assets. So you think he was being philanthropic, yes. taking it through? Yeah, he was just doing for fun. Hey, guys, listen. Yeah, I just want to prove I to everybody. To God. I swear to God. Stop it, Antonio. I swear to God. The guy you're saying took a $350,000 loss so people understand it's still early? Bro, bro, I swear Who to God. Who the hell would do that? That guy, if I go on OpenSea yeah. and I see his address, I bet you that yeah. he has probably 10 bar apes. I bet you. He has 10 bar apes. And he sells that one for that price just for the sake of showing there's no control in this. I decided to sell for this price. This is what I think it's you know mm. reasonable, and it's sold. What do an you, amazing person! What a think, what a kind-hearted man to true. take that well, three fifty k loss. You don't think he maybe sold he uh, maybe owed that other guy some money, and like now the debt's like clear. oh, there's definitely some money oh, hustling yeah. scamming you know going I mean? on with NFTs. You're saying there's that's, money that's, laundering. That's money laundering too. It's possible. So oh, well, yeah. I wasn't going to as an NFT. That, yeah, 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 that's you know? possible well, too. Saying, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't jeopardize your. So stream. as a money, as a <laughs> NFT guy, is it fair to say that there's definitely some shady no, stuff, the, money laundering like going in on in NFTs? Traditional companies, bro, shell companies, like everywhere. Yeah, yeah sure. So you're saying, hey, you know, follow the yeah. money. It's what goes around comes around. But I know people, around. but bro, I know people yeah. that know that would do this, like for sure, just for you know. You have some nice friends. Introduce me. Yeah. So these are these are kind-hearted philanthropic. Money laundering, nice people. Yeah. Not money laundering. <laughs> Don't say that because you know my legal Creative. can come after you. <laughs> I, I'm Creative, uh, you know, record keeping. No, I'm just Got saying it. that for the sake of like, you know, getting the market. Mm -hmm. I control my assets. I know people would do that. Pretty shady. Pretty shady. But hey, respect. That's why we brought you on here. Leia, you want to weigh in on this? I mean, I don't know. I, I guess it depends what the floor price is. So I don't know what the floor price is. It's I, massive. It's 300k or something. Right. So maybe he is correct. So the floor price is basically like, you know what the floor price is? Yeah, Yeah, I don't know. If, no, it's, it's, just a, it's just a base level of what they go for, right? So if it's if he's clearly underselling it, there's obviously something going on there. Um, and I think as well, like it, with even with art anyway, art, physical art is always... Um, a loophole when it comes to taxes mm -hmm. and things like that. Of course. So I imagine that this is basically you, the same loopholes probably apply for digital art. Hmm. Um, You're saying so, he's taking a tax loss. I don't know what he's doing. He's just taking just a saying. loss and he's just writing off 350 grand. I, I think he's being smart. We'll this guy's that. being smart. Oh, creative. Creative. Yeah, it's, just, creative. Yeah, it's for the splash. I, I mean, hey, I'm telling all you. Right. Like, it's in my mind, you bought it at 350 you sold for 115 well, no. Doesn't seem smart, but you're like, there's an underlying story going if on. If the here. floor price is still up, yeah. then that's then then the board ape is holding its value and it's not crashed regardless of that sale. You can accept the bid and sell it, but you know the floor price is still high. There's mm -hmm. no this just shows me there's no forced transparency with this. So if that's what you do and you want privacy, I mean that's one way to go about a wealth transfer in that way. Okay. And and it be written down some kind of way. You guys are good with this. Yeah. All right. I, I mean, just learned something today that everything that I thought I understood about money makes no sense. You buy it 350, you sell for 115, great deal. I don't get it. But hey, I'm learning.